Welcome back to Square Talk, the talk show in which we talk about all things square. I'm your host, Michael Square. Last week we discussed if puns are actually funny with Joe King. This week, however, my guest is Susan Banks, an expert on crocheting. So hold on to your cardigans and let's go. Susan, you're very welcome. Thank you very um, much. You're a big knitter. When did that start? Well, it's actually crocheting. Oh, sorry. Okay. That's What's, okay. What is the difference? Well, the difference is knitting, you have two knitting needles. Mm -hmm. With crocheting, you have a hook. And these are some of your creations here. We have they are. Michael T. Higgins. Yes. When did you start making your own creations? When I was doing the craft fairs. Mm -hmm. And I was asked, you know, at the craft fairs, who used teapots? Mm. And um, I said, mark my words, I said, the day will come. Has Michael D. Higgins seen Michael T. Higgins? I'm not too sure about it, okay. right? Because mm. um, when he was being elected the last time, yeah. right, the, um, his team got in touch and ordered a load from us. Right, okay, yeah. interesting. So, our next segment is brought to us by our sponsor, Lion's Tea. It's called Pull the Wool Over My Eyes, and it's a taste test in which Susan will try and guess which cup of tea is made with a new square bag and which has been made by the old pyramid bag. Susan, if you could drink the cup of tea on your left, please. Okay, and now the cup of tea on your right. Okay, which was square and which was pyramid? That one was square. That one. Okay. Susan, you're correct. <laughs> that one did taste it. It was square. It was square. Oh, did it? That's yeah. correct. Mm. That's correct. Mm. Seriously, that was even nicer. Lions are now square. New shape. Same great taste. Lions. What's the talk into tea? <laughs> How long do they take you? Well, um, Michael T will take me about three hours from beginning to end. What happens when you drop a stitch? You just go back? You just go back and Back fix to square it. one? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Sorry. <laughs> we have to add square puns every so often. So I know, I thought, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Have you enjoyed your celebrity knitting status? Yes. What's the best thing about it? It's, um, maybe it's because you're recognised for something that you can do. Is it still a hobby or is it your full-time job? It's a full-time hobby. So Susan, we know you can crochet, but can you spin a yarn? This is a segment we call Spin a Yarn, an improv game where we tell a story one line at a time. So I'm going to start okay. with my line uh, and then you continue the story. So are we ready? Okay, let's right. go. Let's go, Susan. Once upon a time, there was a man. And he had a can. Okay, and in the can were some magic beans. And what were these beans called? Uh, they were the golden beans that he got from the king. All oh, right, I thought one well, might have been called Jack. Well, the man's name was Jack, and the, he got the beans after selling a cow. Was he stalking the cow? No, he owned the cow. Uh, his mother asked, him to sell the cow for money, but instead he got beans. So he complained to the market manager. And what was the market manager's name? Joseph. And was it Christmas time? It was Christmas time. And he was really busy and that's why he said he wasn't gonna reverse the purchase, even though Jack had a receipt. So what did he do? Uh, he phoned the ombudsman for markets and they gave him advice which was... Don't sell any more cows. <laughs> so that concludes our segment, Spin a Yarn. Susan, you're very <laughs> capable of spinning a yarn. We got so lost there, sorry. Oh yeah, Jack, <laughs> I'm stalked. I was oh, checking the beans. Sorry, I, I yeah, I could see what you were doing there. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, I've oh. never done anything like that before. Well, that's been Square Talk, the talk show in which we talk about all things square. I've been your host, Michael Square, my guest has been Susan Banks, and you have been my audience. And this has been my outro. <laughs>